thank you and thanks to um, Mama Ray and Melvin Ray who did invite me here today and I'm pleased to be here. And uh, so Melvin asked if I would speak a little bit about social media. And uh, can I just see a show of hands, how many of everyone out there is a Facebook friend of Free Alabama Movement? Okay, awesome. For the individuals who did not raise their hand, please go online and search for Free Alabama Movement. Free Alabama Movement has a Facebook page. It has over a hundred videos on YouTube. Most of them were taken by the residents of the prison system here. They live there. They are mistreated there, and the videos will help you see what life is like inside those prisons. So social media is very important, and if you can use your social media to help spread the awareness of Free Alabama Movement and its purpose, uh, the purpose is to help the residents of the prison system be treated fairly, and equitably so that they have some of the same rights, really all of the same rights that we have. The right to fair wages, the right to medical treatment, the right to a library to help defend themselves, the right to be treated with respect and dignity, the right to have their clothing on rather than being thrown in a cell naked, so social media, um, Free Alabama Movement also has a Twitter account so that information is deployed. How many of you have a Twitter account, have signed up for Twitter and have an account? Okay, a few hands. Twitter is a media for uh, individuals who want to send out a kind of snippets of information so you can Google Twitter, you can set up an account, all of the accounts are free. You just have to give your name, a valid email address, and then you can, and then you sign up for the Free Alabama Movement tweets so that you can receive them and know what's going on uh, with the movement. Know when the events happen, uh, know when something has happened to uh, a resident uh, like uh, Melvin and Robert Earl and the other strong men who are standing up for Free Alabama Movement for their rights, for the right to be treated with dignity, for the right for fair wages, yes, for the right to see a doctor. Yes. I was very upset when I was reading the annual report for some of the prisons in Alabama. I found it very disturbing and troubling that it was acceptable to define a death as other. So in the annual report for, I think it was St. Clair, I read many of the annual reports that are, that are online, and it had seven deaths categorized as other, which means they had no name, they had no age, they had no reason. So these men, died an untimely death because of other. Other is a category I believe that is used to cover mistreatment, a lack of medical attention when they need it, and abuse that goes on in the prison behind that curtain that we're not allowed to peer through. So some of the residents have had the courage and the means to use social media to tell the story of how they are mistreated. And as a team, as a FAM member, I'm here to help, and I believe all of you are here to help. So please, how many of you out have gone to YouTube and looked at at least a dozen videos that are on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Okay, for, for anyone who did not raise their hand, Google Free Alabama Movement 
YouTube. There are many videos out there. You'll get to meet Melvin personally. You'll get to meet other residents of the prisons here who would tell their story. And uh, social media will help you deploy the information as well as gather the information about the life, if you want to call that living, inside those walls, behind that curtain that we're not allowed to see through, that we need to help, help them achieve their rights, help them get programs set up that will help them, not abuse them. We want the abuse eliminated. We want the abusers removed. And we want these men and women treated the way that you and I can be treated. So Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and please, how many, can I see a show of hands of everyone who has signed the Free Alabama Movement petition that Mama Ray started? Yes. Please look for it. It's on change.org. If you Google Free Alabama Movement Petition, it should pop up. You also have an opportunity to sign the petition today. If you'll see Latasha or any of the other Alabama um, family members around the table, please sign up today to support that cause. And that's really all that I have to say. Thank you, thank you very much, and thank you for being here today. All right, how's everybody feeling? It's good. Seems like we're getting a little uh, baked in the sun. Everybody still good out there? Yes. Yeah. All right. Next, we're going to be hearing from uh, Monique V. Ray. You hear right? Yeah. All right. She's going to tell us a little bit about opening up our homes to fam, organizing, and how we're going to continue on with this movement, the Free Alabama movement, and the. Uh, Besides social media, social media, but also, you know, real life interactions and everything else, the, the real grassroots efforts that, that keep these movements going. So, Monique, thank you so much. <laughs> Good evening. How y'all doing? All right. Great. How many of you know actually know how many members in our country are incarcerated?